Hey guys, this is episode two of eBay shopping thing, and uh, I kind of got a good response from this, so, sorta, so I just thought I'd do another one, and I don't know, I was just kind of bored, so, uh, by the way, I didn't really explain this last time, maybe I didn't even know about it last time, but you can follow searches on eBay, I'm following uh, these searches, as you can see, so I need, uh, I need the case for that game, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's interesting because like depending on what you follow, you know, you get a certain amount of days. So I follow some like random searches, like a Parappa the Rappa search, because I just don't want that game for a good price. Um, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Shantae, just to see what the price they're going for. You know, just random junk. Um, I just kind of keep it at a minimum because if I wanted to follow searches like I don't know, like Game Boy or Nintendo or something, I'm sure it'd be cluttered every fucking second so these are my last searches but we're gonna search through stuff and we're just gonna whatever. We'll just start out super easy Nintendo look they even have their own little thing Nintendo featured on eBay great deals full warranty free shipping great anyway ending soonest this is so it's interesting last time I told people to search by newly listed which is a good idea it's not a bad idea at all but um, ending soonest in auction is also kind of interesting because um, from my experience on selling on eBay, um, people can pick up things for a really good price. No one's seen the auction. And sometimes people will make a mistake or maybe they just won't see it or something. I don't know. But whatever the case, sometimes you can get decent prices like this. Like Crafting Mama Complete. No one's going to buy that crap. Even though I do want this game. Mama Silly Band's inside. Wow. That's that's uh, that's next level. I'm not gonna lie. Um I have some interesting stuff. I don't know. It's kinda fun to just look around. Like this person's jeans obviously are on sale right now. Castlevania 4 with manual. Nice. That'd be a cool game to own. I actually don't have that. Another gardening mama. I actually have that game. <laughs> I haven't played it, I don't think. <laughs> Or Pe uh, Club Penguin's Game Day, another great one, classic. So yeah, obviously I can't, uh, you know, not get shovelware when searching something like Nintendo. So this is kind of what you have to deal with. Like uh, I want Kirby's Pinball Land. That that game's a Kirby game. I kind of I did want all the Kirby games. Look how fucking stupid that shirt is. I'm sorry. Like <sighs> the simple shirts like that are never my taste. I want something like unique, not just like the logo for something. Um, I don't know if that's a good deal, but hey, Castlevania 1 I still want, but I would never buy that. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy something on video today. I just kind of thought maybe do one of these again, because I don't know. Maybe it's interesting. That's kind of a funny t-shirt, like Terminator, thumb up. I, uh, I don't know why you'd buy that on eBay, but whatever. There's sites for that. Um, let's, this is obviously a little boring. As you can see, I was searching Gary's Mod shit, whatever. Um, Super Mario World, but whatever. Let's go to what I told everyone to do last time, which was buy it now. Or not told, like demanded everyone to do, but suggested. Buy it now, newly listed, yada yada. Find some deals that people haven't really double thought or something. Doesn't always work. Some things I've tried to buy on eBay, newly listed, people have retracted it and said, like, oop, that was a mistake, and I have to be like, okay, even though they get a bad review. No, I don't know. I'm too lazy to give people reviews anyway, so. They're fine in my book. I think I might have explained this before, but uh, bootleg copies of Pokemon games are pretty standard on everything, and the easiest way to tell. I'm gonna try to find one. These all actually look legit. Well, this is not obviously. This is obviously like a hack or something, but um let's see. Come on, Emerald. Like, maybe we'll find it. Maybe we'll Yeah, the the perfect way to tell is the the logo's a little off. That's actually a really bad example. Um <laughs> there are ones that look a little bit more legit than that, but for some reason they all have the same issue with the E for everyone where it looks 
off. The E is not as bold as it usually is. And I don't know, I always notice that, and I was always like, wow. But once you hold it in your hands, there's no doubt that you will know that's a bootleg, because I actually have one, because I got it from, like, a random grab bag or something from a convention. And, like, it's weird how the plastic they use on a Game Boy Advance game is just so particular, and you can totally tell when it's not the same way. What was I just doing? Yeah. I was going to have, um... A video game price chart website open, but eh, I didn't think it was a very good idea. That's kind of cool, an official game controller. For some reason, there's a lot of third-party ones that I always see, and I'm always like, if like I only have one official game controller because I never want to go out of my way to get more than one. <laughs> I should have more than one because I do have people who come over and play GameCube games every once in a while. And I feel bad that I only have one to supply. Rockman X. That'd be such a cool thing to own. Uh, import games are such a niche thing, and I'm such a sucker for it. Like, not even like an entire import collection of a like a system, just like a series. Like having like the entire import collection of Mega Mega Man series. I don't know why I would die for that. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't pay the money for that, but I'd die for that easily. Obviously, babysitting mama in box. Damn. I didn't know it came in like a weird crib. It's creepy. I've seen that before, the babysitting mama, like, bundle, I guess you could say. Anyway, let's search something else. Um, let's search this, oops, um, because I was looking for 3D, I've collected for 3DS, so we'll find some good deals. I don't care about these games. I wonder if the Shinobi game is any dec any good, any decent, yeah, that's the word for it, any good on the 3DS. I have like a lot of the good 3DS games, but like, ah, oh, this game I need, which is actually really cheap, but um, I actually just learned something about this game not too long ago, well, realized something, I guess. <clears throat> I always see it around, but I never pick it up, um, and it's made by the same guys who made, is their name on here? Dream Rift, yeah. Um, guys that made another game that I really like on the DS, the standard DS, called Monster Tail. It's like a Metroid E game. It's really good. And I'm surprised that that Mickey game is made by them because it uh, makes me want it a lot more because the Monster Tail game was really good. But I guess, um, I guess it could be anyway. Just because a company has made a good game in the past doesn't mean all their games are good. Uh, case in point, right? Uh... No, this game isn't too bad. I actually don't know what happened to the cartridge for that game. I have a story for every game, don't I? Ha ha ha. No, but I don't know what happened to the cartridge for that game. I have the case. So if anyone asks, I have the cartridge. And I'll be like, don't look in the case. Um, That's also a game I want. The Project Mirai Hatsune Miku Vocaloid game thing. That game looks fun. Rhythm games. Let's see. There's really just garbage. Punch time explosion. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I mean, there's, like, select games for the 3DS I want. I've kind of, like, as because I've been collecting for it ever since it came out, and I kind of just grab the games I want on it. Even if they're not, like, spectacular. Like, I kind of went into, like, Super bleh, Project Cross Zone when it came out, knowing it wasn't going to be great, but I kind of wanted it as, like, a game to own. Whatever. Um... Was I just gonna search? Oh yeah, Castle of Illusion. It's not actually Castle of Illusion, is it? It's like Power of Illusion or something stupid. Because there was a Castle of Illusion game that came out for next-gen consoles or something. I wonder. Yawn. <sighs> How much? This game ending soonest. Auction. Hour left. So these are the kind of games that like I would recommend going for an auction because obviously it's like you know what ten dollars like yeah sure you can you could down the ten dollars if you really want it's not like a big deal. Um, these are also the kind of games that nobody fucking bids on. <laughs> these are the kind of games that like no one's gonna actually like spend the time and effort to bid on a two ninety nine price for this game. So probably by the time this is almost done you probably could get this for like five dollars so if you're willing to like because you know i'm cheap so if you're willing to wait and try to get it for a cheaper price or you don't want it for the retail price then it's a good idea it's never not a good idea imo 
Um, let's move on to something I like, Neo Geo Pocket Color. And I only follow the buy it now. I never follow the auction, so I always every once in a while look because I want um, the following thing to just kind of be things like the newest things. Like I don't really care if something's new that is just listed that's like an auction starting. Like I'd have to wait till it's almost over. Like this is an insanely good price for this game, complete and everything. Sadly, I don't go for complete copies of games on the Neo Geo. I mean, I could, like, I wouldn't mind having a complete copy of this game if it was handed to me, but I'm not going to go out of my way to spend $40 on it. I'd rather get it for cheaper, loose, like this. I'm actually going to watch this because I would love to have this. That's not a bad price at all. Um, that's a game that I need for the Neo Geo Pocket Color, but it's kind of a weird price. It's just like... I think it's usually like fifty dollars. And look at a bio. Was it bio? Fuck. What was it? Bio metal. Bio motor. Bio motor. I was gonna say bio metal. Been playing too much Mega Man. <laughs> bio motor Unitron. I know. It's just I have an English copy in the buy it now right now. This is the joys of collecting for this fucking console. I don't even get to see the ones I want. There's a... Oh, I'm not going to buy it right now. There's a game called Picture Puzzle that I want. It was only released in Europe, I think. Um, there's another game I need. I have a whole list of games I would show you, but I'd rather not open up my Google account while I'm recording. Not that there's anything like ridiculously bad in it. I just don't know. It's a little sketchy, you know? Maybe this video will explode and I'll get hackers. I can kind of think at the top of my head what I need, to be honest. Oh, there's this game. Oops. I just, I searched that, like, completely thinking that the only thing named Evolution is that Neo Geo Pocket Color game I want. So stupid. This game, it doesn't look too expensive, but that's because these are Japanese copies. Um, let's, uh... But yeah, I don't know if I explained this last time, but you can um, organize searches by completed listings, and I think that's the best way to check the price. That video game price charting website's really good too, but um, but that's a really good way. So, uh, case in plastic case and manual was going for $150, and the game in the box and everything sold for $400. It sold for $400. It did not like just not get a sell or not get a bid. It actually sold for four hundred dollars. That is insane to me. I would never pay that much for a game, like ever. <laughs> I don't even care what kind of game it is. Um, what was I gonna say? But uh, if you are interested in any of Geo Pocket Color, I can tell you full well they're worth it, and I can tell you full well that you can get them for a decent price. Um, if you're patient, I got, I have two of them because I wanted one just to like test out like link cable things for. I know, right? Isn't that hilarious? And I also wanted, there, there are two models of the Neo Geo, so I wanted to have both of them just because for the complete collection or whatever. Um, so I bought my other one. I actually got it as, as a best offer or whatever. I, I can't, I was trying to think of the price. I don't remember what the price was. It was pretty cheap though. It was like less than half of what people usually buy it for. And um, the only reason I got it for that much was because I used the best offer thing. And I remember, like, <laughs> I remember it was in the morning. It was, like, before I was going to school, like, on the train to school or something. And, like, I was just, like, I just, like, was tired. And I was, like, oh, look, like, a Neo Geo Pocket Color for not that bad of a price. Like, here, I'll post a best offer. Maybe he'll, like, ignore this best offer because it's stupid low. But he accepted it. And people are cool like that. Also, there's search topics for Neo Geo Pocket Color, abbreviated. Oh, I'm still in completed searches, I didn't even notice, but, yep, obviously, this one sold for 44 complete, wow, that's not a bad price, this game's pretty fun, I actually have this, but not complete in box, um, let's move on to something that isn't video games, <laughs> I'm so bad at this, okay, Let's let's see how much the Shovel Knight Amiibo goes for. I'm just curious, actually, at this point. I just want to know what the Shovel Knight Amiibo is selling for. I don't care about the game. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. That's usually the price of a uh, 
a standard amiibo price on eBay because you really just go to eBay if you don't want to go out and get it. Um, I have the Shovel Knight Amiibo. I was just curious on what it was selling for. Um, there's another game that's actually going up in price that actually there was some news about that's kind of interesting, but this game is going crazy up in price recently um, just because they only made like a certain amount of them and now they're gone. Everyone has them that wants them and whatever. You can't find them at retail stores. <laughs> Obviously, people complained about that because Nintendo just announced that they're going to be re-releasing the game like soon or restocking the game, but not with Bayonetta 1 included just Bayonetta 2 for like half the price or something which is a pretty good deal $30 for Bayonetta 2 is a freaking steal and I don't know what that's going to mean for this version that comes with Bayonetta 1 I'll assume like they'll be more like a little bit more expensive maybe like $10 more but like I don't know don't buy Bayonetta 2 right now for the price it is it's ridiculous even if you think it's going to be like worth more because people aren't going to be able to get Bayonetta 1 on the Wii U but nobody really cares that much at least that's what I think that's my prediction on what's going to happen. I'm actually going to search a lot of games. Game Boy Advance a lot because I just want Game Boy Advance games and a lot of them, multiple, a lot of them would do well for a collection. Ooh, this one comes with random ass games for $20 like Madden and uh, Backyard Football and uh, actually Garbage. God. Um, there's nothing on here. <laughs> Obviously, this is not the best place to find stuff like that. <clears throat> Final Fantasy Tactics 1 and 2. I love Final Fantasy Tactics. I would actually consider this, but there's still 23 hours left. Um... Yeah, I've always, I was kind of, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, I don't remember anything I said in the first one, because it's been so long, but um, one of my dreams for having a game collection or a game room is to not have, because I, I don't know, collecting for Game Boy Advance, especially complete, it's just a pain. Like, I feel like collecting loose cartridges is so easy, and like, I remember at a point I was like, started kind of collecting complete cartridges for, or complete uh, Game Boy Advance games, just because like, there's some games on it that I do really like, like Superstar Saga I have complete. It's actually right now. Just hit the mic. It's actually right here. Um, some other games. And I realized, like, like, wow, this is so annoying because I'm seeing, like, you know, loose, like, for, like, $20 less. And that's the most, the, most of the time the case. But, like, Game Boy Advance games are super cheap. So, like, getting loose games is not hard at all. Um, and that was also at a time when GameStop still had loose Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> I actually remember one time, like around that same time, 3DS coming out era, kind of that time. Um, so the Game Boy Advance games were going to be shelved at GameStops and going, I don't know what they do with them, throw them out maybe, so maybe send them to some company. But whatever, um, I remember I asked them like, oh, what happened to your Game Boy Advance games? You used to have them all here. And they just had like a box of them and they were like, oh yeah, they're all like a dollar or something. And I was like, damn. Um, I don't remember getting any. Actually, I might have. I think I got Mega Man and Base through that. <laughs> Actually, do I think that is where I got Mega Man and Base, like, that day. <laughs> Which is funny. I probably got it for, like, super cheap. Um, oh, speaking of Mega Man, let's transition to Mega Man for the NES. Because there's a few Mega Man games I need. I have Mega Man 3. I need Mega Man 1, 5, and 6. Kill me. <laughs> You can kill me right now. I don't fucking... Ugh, they're so expensive. Like, I don't... Uh, I really want 6. 6 is probably my, like, I gotta have it kind of game. And it's expensive, but it's not as expensive as the rest. Like, freaking Mega Man 1 is going up crazy in price, I think. Yeah, Mega Man 1's, like, heading up there with the $100 range, which is uh, not fun when a game gets there. Uh, again, I have no, like, Mega Man 1's probably my, like, least prioritized Mega Man game. I'd say 6 is my most, and I don't even own 6 yet. Like, 6 is the one that I would want to own the most. 6 and, like, 3. But I already own 3. <laughs> so 6 I'll get one day. It's such a weird price. <clears throat> I have this, like, dream I'll find it at a, th like, thrift store or flea market one day, but I'm sure it's everyone's dream. <laughs> uh, also, Mega Man 4. 
for Game Boy. I need that game too. This game looks awesome. IMO. I want it because I've played it and it's fun as hell. I think it is. I love the Game Boy Mega Man games. I think they're fun. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be spending this forty dollars. It's funny because recently I saw it for like thirty, thirty I think at a local retro game. Local is in like a little far away, but whatever. Close to my living area, retro game store. Um, for like $30, and I was just like, I don't want to spend $30 today. I came in getting like shovelware. Like, I sometimes go into like those kind of stores getting like $10 worth of like f just four like ass games. Or like, nah, ass games, but like cheap games. Like, the other day I got like Metroid Prime Pinball and like Monkey Ball for the DS, which are like cheap games, but they're not bad games. They're just cheap. Like, and they're like, there's something I would never go out of my way to buy. Like, I would never, like, set, like, a, like, oh, I need this game. Like, damn. But if it's there, like, whatever. Maybe I'll play it for, like, five minutes. It just adds to the collection. Adds some meat. But, like, I think I came in that way, wanting this game. And I was like, I don't want to spend $30. Like, the next time I came, it was gone. And I was like, damn, you guys had Mega Man 4. And, like, they were like, yeah, it sold pretty fast because it was a good price. And I'm like, true. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this one i don't know i just just like talking about this stuff we'll do one more search and then i'll then i'll call it quits there's some games oh well let's see if i always search this but there's a game i always want mystical ninja star ring go Amon. and god damn oh 31 minutes left 20 dollars. what's the bidding on it oh 12 dollar 12 dollar uh shipping kill myself um Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon. It's a game I really want, and I've never played, and I literally would be going in completely blind to it. But I've seen, like, a little gameplay, and it, like, I know what the game is like, technically. And I want it. <laughs> Obviously. But $40 is always a little annoying to get it for. This isn't that bad. Why would they set it for eight days? Why would they make it eight days? That's ridiculous. Um... But yeah, another game I want, but not going to spend the money. So yeah, this was another eBay shopping video. Um, I might make more of these. I think I said the same thing last time. They're just kind of chill, fun videos to make. Um, I hope you learned something about eBay. Don't go for stupid prices. Always go for lower. You can always find something lower. I guess that's a pretty good thing. I'm pretty stingy on pricing with video games, and like, I don't have a big big collection so I don't go out of my way to buy everything so I really only get stuff I want for very specific prices and if you ask anyone who knows me and knows how I collect video games you'll know that I am pretty stingy on prices like I will tell myself that I'm not gonna get Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon I'm not gonna get it for over $25 like I will wait until I see someone for less than 25 to buy it like I've already told myself that for this game and like I'm gonna stand true to that I am no rush there's a million games that I need to play so I recommend doing the same unless you like really just want that game this is obviously for like collectors and not saying I'm like the best collector ever but I feel like it's not a bad idea it's an easy way to save money and but obviously you don't have to do what I say but anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoy this, and I'll try to do more of these.